Dot. Today, we're diving deep into Japan's Type 74 main battle tank, a powerful machine that bridged the gap between Cold War era technology and Japan's modern defense needs. Stick around as we uncover the history, design, firepower, and evolution of this legendary battle tank. After World War II, Japan was left without an active military force due to its post-war constitution. However, with the Cold War heating up and the Korean War unfolding nearby, the United States pushed Japan to establish its own self-defense forces in 1954. With the reformation of Japan's military, the country needed a new tank to replace the outdated American-supplied M4 Sherman and M41 Walker Bulldog. The Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force JGSDF, initially introduced the Type 61 tank in the early 1960s, but it quickly became evident that this tank was no match for the emerging Soviet threats, such as the T-62 and later the T-72. Thus, in the 1960s, Japan began developing a new, more advanced main battle tank, the Type 74. By 1974, after years of testing and refinements, it was officially adopted, giving Japan a much-needed technological edge. The Type 74 tank is designed to be agile, well-armed, and highly maneuverable on Japan's mountainous terrain. Let's break down some of its key design elements. Unlike the heavily armored Western and Soviet tanks of the time, the Type 74 relied on welded steel armor instead of composite or reactive armor. While this kept the tank lightweight at just over 38 tons, it also made it more vulnerable to modern anti-tank weapons. The main firepower of the Type 74 comes from its 105mm rifled gun, a Japanese-produced variant of the British Royal Ordnance L7 gun. This same gun was used on NATO tanks like the Leopard 1 and M60 Patton. The Type 74 could fire various rounds, including armor-piercing, high-explosive, and even anti-tank guided shells, making it a versatile weapon on the battlefield. One of the most impressive features of the Type 74 was its hydropneumatic suspension, a rare feature in tanks of its time. This allowed the tank to kneel, forward or backward, adjust its ride height, and tilt from side to side to improve aiming and stability. The tank was powered by a Mitsubishi 10ZF diesel engine producing 720 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 53 km per hour 33 miles per hour. While not the fastest tank of its era, its agility was key to navigating Japan's mountainous landscapes. Though the Type 74 was technologically advanced for its time, by the time it entered service in the late 1970s, newer Soviet tanks like the T-72 and later the T-80 had already set a new benchmark for armored warfare. While the Type 74 was never deployed in actual combat, it played a vital role in Japan's national defense strategy. It was frequently used in military exercises, joint training programs with U.S. forces, and domestic defense readiness drills. Over the years, Japan introduced several upgrades to the Type 74, including improved fire control systems, thermal imaging sites, and better ballistic computers. However, due to budget constraints and Japan's strict military policies, major upgrades were limited. By the late 1990s, Japan began replacing the Type 74 with the more modern Type 90 tank and later the Type 10 main battle tank, which featured composite armor, superior firepower, and advanced electronics. Today, the Type 74 is gradually being phased out of active service, with many units either scrapped, placed in storage, or displayed in military museums. Despite this, its legacy remains strong as Japan's first true post-war main battle tank. The Type 74 may not have been the most powerful tank of its time, but it was a critical stepping stone in Japan's tank development history, paving the way for the advanced armored vehicles we see today. And that wraps up our deep dive into the legend.